did your self scout at the end of the year. And I think we all thought you had a really good year, particularly for the very good year. So, what, what were some areas in your, in your game that you felt the most no. need to improve? No. Uh, definitely consistency. Uh, at times, I would flash some some good things, but it's got to be on a consistent basis to be great in this league and to help out this team as much as possible. So uh, I've been working on my conditioning, working on my multiple reps with my hands and so on and so forth. Tech just said you both considerably stronger than last year. What have you been doing, I guess? Uh, I've been lifting a lot, uh, putting more weight on the bar, just kind of getting comfortable in the weight room. And uh, it's a big testament to these guys too because I've been, I've been here training and just kind of trusting the process. Uh, is seeing other guys do it, that the weight room is necessary and essential to being great in this league. So, What have you learned from Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. What are they talking about? Oh, man, uh, numerous things. But if it would be one thing, uh, just, just kind of not paying attention to the distractions out there and just kind of making this game as simple as possible and kind of going back to why you love this game. And so, as simple as that sounds, you just kind of stick to those things and everything else falls in place. Is it easy to, as a rookie to sort of fall away from that and get sort of maybe blinded by that? Oh, yeah. Last year I was thrown through the ringer. I didn't know what to expect. Everything was coming at twice as fast as speed. So this year it's going to be fun. Oh, very important. Uh, to go like the year I had, let's just say, went from right to left tackle and flip during camp. With all those battles, it definitely helped me improve uh, my muscles and my muscle memory and kind of just flipping that switch every time I do the switch. I, I don't like to be kind of boxed into one thing, so I kind of like it and like the challenge and whatever challenges they give me. I'm going to take it on. Just one other thing about that. Like last year, you're preparing for the con. I don't know what this offseason all your work was put for. Is that how important is that for you? Oh, yeah, that's important. It kind of goes back to his question about being stronger, too, right? When I was for the combine, I'm trying to be as slim as possible, trying to run fast. But that's not the game I play, and that's not the position I play. So, like, this offseason, it was really more position-specific and kind of getting stronger and conditioning in the trenches. What, what specifically with the strength? Were were you trying to just your whole body, more explosion, or were you trying to target certain areas? Uh, I was really the whole body, but mainly kind of my lower body just because I want to be able to move as fast as possible. And is that what you think you lost maybe in the combine training with some of the lower half? Uh, back now? Shoot, I couldn't tell you, but I definitely was not as strong as I am today. Have you, have you put on some yes, that's between me and head coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, what, what, is Hank's, uh, what has Hank's message been these last couple of weeks? Uh, it's been kind of slow, to be honest, just because there's a long days ahead of us. So it's just kind of been knowing the playbook. It's a little different this year, so just kind of learning, take a step at a time, and not worry about what's ahead. How much did they pick your mind at all about for the draft about Thibodeau at all? Quiz you at all? Not quiz me, but they were just they were just curious, you know what I mean, as as anyone should when they're looking for a prospect. But uh, yeah, he's not with us. But what are your first impressions of Aiden? Of Aiden? Oh, he looks good out there. Uh, he's moving good, flexible, athletic. Everybody that you see what he did at Michigan. So uh, we'll just see him grow as time goes on and uh, looking forward to the matchups. Last year you guys were lower on the sack total. How ready is the team to change that this year? We say that one more time. Last year the team lower in total team sacks. How ready is the team this year to change that around? Uh, I think they're hungry, to be honest. Uh, I'm not in the room every day with the uh, D-line, but I know just kind of going off of the energy we had at practice, it's different from last year. Not in day from where we were a year ago today. I don't think anybody was surprised to see you in the middle of a uh, little scrum today. <laughs> oh, it's a little friendly. Friendly conversations happen on the field. And I just want to join in. You know what I mean, I'm like, I might miss a joke or something. So. <laughs> do you like that, I guess, maybe a little extra energy that you can practice? I mean, do, you, do you feed off those moments? Almost oh, definitely. When you see a teammate of yours kind of get in that mode, in that uh, fight or fight mode, oh, man, I'm in there with you. Uh, and there's nobody I would, would jump into into battle with than the guys I have here. Logan missed you know, considerable time last year and missed out on some opportunities late in the season because of that. Uh, how have you seen, I guess, him in the room on the field? How hungry do you think? Oh, he's different this year. He's locked in, I can tell you that. From playbook to landmarks to 
shoot, winning his battles out there. He's he's on it. And I'm excited to see him this year. Oh man, I can't say it. It's a little profanity, but it was a funny joke though. Good one. It was a good one. Appreciate y'all. Hey, shout out Grizzly Man Outdoors. That's my dog. Y'all go check it out. Appreciate y'all.